Take zwei. Hello there. I'm in front of a church here where I've been doing organ recording since yesterday. And I wanted to take this opportunity to show you how I do that. It's a making of an organ recording. Not only the weather is gorgeous, also the landscape. Now this used to be a monastery here, not anymore, but the church is still beautiful and the whole surrounding has a sort of tranquility. Now, I've done a similar thing like two years ago, but A, it was in German, and B, a lot has changed since then, especially the light equipment, but of course also the camera. And speaking of cameras, uh, I used the three camera setup. With the main camera is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Cam 4K. The second cam is the Panasonic Lumix G81 that I'm using now for recording. And another Sony camcorder for the footwork. Now, usually I record everything in 4K even though I might produce or publish in full HD. This gives me a little bit more flexibility in post. The main recordings we did during the night. It's more silent then, and it's easier to control the lighting conditions. When I set up the lights for an organ recording, I try to get rid of all the lights that are already there at the organ. Usually they are flickering or just not beautiful, have the wrong color temperature. So uh, tape is your friend there. Next thing is that you have a sort of modified three-point lighting. The key light is from the side, of course, because usually you can only take a picture from the side. Then a uh, rim or hair light is very important, but you don't want to have too much spill on the clothes. So in this case, a Fresnel lens uh, really makes sense. And I use that here to get the rim light as focused as possible on the head. But of course, the organist is moving while playing, so it can't be too focused. What you also see that I have put a little, little bit of gel on the side of the Fresnel lens. I just wanted to have a slight touch of orange at the rim of his hair. I think it worked nicely. Then close to the rim light, I have another light that is mostly for lighting the keyboard of the organ. And then I usually need a small light for the footwork and uh, this is quite easy. As you have seen, the main lights I use are the Godox SL60W. And I think that's interesting here because they are advertised as studio lights and a lot of people use them as studio lights. But I think they are so easy to set up and so brilliant to use that it makes absolutely sense to bring them on set as well. And then there's one more thing. The space here is very restricted, very small everything. So I absolutely didn't have a chance to put on soft boxes or anything. With soft boxes, of course, you get a little bit of a softer light, but actually I was quite surprised how good this was uh, in this situation. Apart from the Fresnel lens, the two other lights had no modifier on them at all. Now, during the day I usually do B-roll and some extra pictures, photographs or something. And then there's the audio side. My setup here hasn't changed in something like 10 years. It is a solid, proven setup and everybody likes the sound quality I produce. I use a Rode NT5 match stereo pair and the good old Roland R26 recorder. Positioning the mics is key to having the right sound. Since I've been doing organ recordings for quite a while now, I usually find that, or at least a sweet spot relatively quickly. Be sure that you can position the mics high enough. Then a few words about software. First, audio. I have been a Logic Pro user for ages. And since I have studied music and have produced some music before, I feel quite comfortable editing the audio files. As for the video editing suite, 
I have more or less totally switched to DaVinci Resolve Studio, though for all the projects I still use Final Cut Pro 10. What I really like about DaVinci Resolve is the fact that it is a whole editing suite and it is so easy to quickly adjust a title in Fusion or of course to color correct and grade at the color page. Last, some sort of soft skills to talk about. Of course it helps if you understand the music and the instruments a little, but I don't think it's a real must. And you will understand these things better the more often you do it. Another point is being prepared. Try to get as much information as possible about the site of the recording and plan the shooting as good as possible. Be sure that everything works before you leave the house, like a day before. Then, when you set up all the lights, cameras and mics, do it slowly and as silent as possible so that the artist has uh, enough time to practice a little bit more. Also, always stay cool. A musician, like any artist, is usually totally focused on the performance, so try not to bother them with any kind of problems. And then, building up a good working relationship with the musician is another helpful feat. It's also not bad to have a drink together, right? Lastly, enjoy the work. And it will be good. <laughs>